but that's what we will put here in the list from beginning. This is road and after road. Just show you how to properly plant a pumpkin seed. So you see here, <laughs> yay! We finished finally. <laughs> we finally finished planting all the the tools destroyed the second time, and we finished planting 427 seeds of pumpkins and squash, and. For the 23 varieties so yay if you're familiar with permaculture this is with a uh, called forest gardening where you can grow different um, vegetables and it's mixed with the trees with the grasses in all their natural habitat not in the setting where you plant like the vegetable garden field where everything is well cultivated and all it's very cold water so refreshing this is from our spring water source at Alma. Is Daddy resting? Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yay! So, all right, guys, we have finished watering our pumpkins and squash so hopefully all of them will grow successfully this year and it's a long day hi guys welcome back to our channel today we are planting pumpkins or squash and we have how many varieties daddy too much <laughs> 23 varieties of pumpkins and a total of 247 seeds for planting <laughs> and so here like if two 200 holes yeah at least 200 holes because we're gonna plant two to three seeds in each hole and here's daddy slaven he prepared the land he made holes and all and we are planting here in our uh, um, land just near our house this was an echo forest and we cut some trees so there's space now for the pumpkin we're just gonna let them grow naturally what's the how big is this area daddy 0 0.2 hectares 0 0.2 hectares how much is that in dolum uh, two dolum du uh, dolum dolum i'm not, <laughs> not sure how to pronounce and so two acres 0 0.2 0 0.2 hectares and acres not yeah. same Ten so dolum, one hectare yeah so 0 0.2 acre a uh, hectare so two dunum and here daddy and it's not like what you're imagining like a field where everything is pure land you will see so many grasses and all but we just let them grow naturally in their own natural that they used to be growing so we'll see hope everything will turn out good will grow fine and right Okay. Let's go. I got the holes. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll show you what we're going to plant today. So the, this we have 23 types of uh, tikva, bundiva to plant this year. So in English, pumpkins or squash. And I'll enumerate one by one so you to document this as well. And just want to say thank you to all our friends who gave the seeds so mostly some are from Milka Tamamovic of Organico Beha we have from um, uh, Zoran Zil Zeleni Vierti Vrt. Um, these people are selling seeds but they gave us gave it to us as gifts we have gifts also from Austria from Milke Charadic thank you and from Bujana Pizer, thank you. And there's a lot also coming from Philippines. <laughs> and some we got from um, the agro shop here. So we have here like this one. These are bought from the shop. 
these are we we wanted to plant something that uh, that is good for the kids for the babies so these are mostly good for babies so i have here for baby food this butternut squash butternut pumpkin it's very good for kids also this this hokkaido pumpkin it's a japanese variety this is really good we planted this same last year also both of them but i forgot to save the seeds so this year i'm going to save so we can always plant this year and we have many people coming in our house looking for um baby food f vegetables that they can use for their baby food organic ones so we decided okay we'll just plant a lot this year so when we get visitors we have people coming we can give them this um, pumpkins which are really good for kids this one I, we just bought it um Oh, from Sarajevo and we asked a friend Madeline to um, buy the seeds from us thank you Mads and I have here this uh, Halloween pumpkin we're just planting it and oh this is from Milky Cha thank you Milky Cha this is the uh, Atlantic Giant very gonna be very very huge later and this uh, Bucha Moscade the province I'm not sure how to pronounce but when we get, went to the agro shop, they said it's going to be big one later. This is a big variety. So we're also planning it. This is Pattison squash. I saw on uh, the this cooking show, they use this squash for... It's nice. Later, I will show you later. They open it. Mostly people open it and then put a uh, food inside it's it's gonna be cool so i'm gonna use this also i like this one and this is a decorative pumpkin i just saw this and i thought of buying it so there are many types but i will count it as i counted it as one so just to we later i like taking pictures of kids for monthly pictures of natalia i want to have like a variety of pumpkins in there and this will be cool this is also good for decoration at home some picture picture taking oh here there's a lot more <laughs> so i will not uh, uh don't know how to we have here so many gulicha it's um gulicha is seed uh, pumpkin without the coat and this is really good for oil and other things this is also good for cooking so uh, this is Philippine pumpkin, calabasa. So I'm gonna plant them all. So, <laughs> whoa. I usually soak my seeds, but for pumpkin and squash, they're really easy to germinate. So I just did not touch them. So I didn't soak them anymore. Genovska tikva. Hmm. I'm not sure, but it looks like a big one. See, the seeds are really big. Tikva Torkima. I don't know if I read it correctly. We have a lot. I haven't checked how this one looked, but I know some which are really good for eating. Nubichna Kikiriki Tikva. Spaghetti Tikva. <laughs> this is also nice. Spaghetti Tikva. I will put this. I will separate for eating in the big types. The one for eating and the one for um, just decoration. So it's easy for us later to identify. Oh, this is from... There's no name. Uh, but I will ask. Uh, this is from Bojana Pizza. I forgot to ask. But she said it's going to be a big type of pumpkin. Good for pechenye. Mm, I think this is the... I forgot the name. This is good for pechenye here. This is a uh, common pumpkin. Tikva odlichna za pite. This is good for pita. Yay! Krastava tikva. Not sure if I read it correctly. Krupna tikva. And also this is from Bojana Pizer. Um, there's no name but it looks really big. See, the seeds are really big. Whoa. Yabuka tikva, friends. These are all from Milka Tamamovic. And tikva rastov zir. Not sure how to read it. 
Tigva Cinderella and many more. So just a quick rundown of the seeds we have before we sow them so I can document what are all that we have. I also listed it down in our in our mm, I have my garden journal, my um, everything where I put our garden plan, also my husband writing there also. So that's all for this year. So 23 varieties of pumpkins. So now I'm going to go to my husband and help him. So he's actually preparing now the land. So let's go. All right, guys, so here's me and Natalia. She's coming with us. She's coming with me. Daddy Slavin is already down there preparing the land. So it's always like that. She's always together with me when I work because I cannot leave her alone. Only when the weather is good. So, But now the weather is good. It's sunny. It's not so windy. So it's good for her to be outside also. And Sophia is playing with Philip, our, our nephew. Hello, guys. Wow, Natalia! Yay, Nato! Natalia! Hey, toot toot toot! Boo boo! Baby! Boo boo! Hmm? Let's go! I'm gonna push her. This is her kulicha stroller. And we're going down. There. There, there, there in our echo forest so we're going to plant in there all right so we're here and daddy is down in our aznar in our water spring source spring source he is working on something he's turning on the water because we are putting this big tank of water for our greenhouse and not greenhouse only um this field where we have this it's easy for us to water the plants so he's filling the water he's turning on the the some electrical thing in there i don't know how it works so there here's down you cannot see in the camera daddy he's there <laughs> and he started working on the place where we plant a tikva um, pumpkin so this is at the back that you all see this is where we will plant our pumpkin so this was just an um an echo forest we cut some of the trees because they need to be cut already and still have they grow actually every year again and you cut and then they grow this baby ones again and but this year we will plant pumpkin in this area just to make use of the land and it's near the house so we don't go to other land we have separate land but it's too far to to plant pumpkins there so we want just within our house so that's why we're planting here there's a lot of work to be done in here <laughs> but daddy will do it i will just be here to assist him i will do the planting he's gonna do the field works for the plant land preparation here's just natalia chilling here hmm? Nato. so just a quick look here in this area from there going here it is all be covered with pumpkins so i'm not sure how many seeds exactly but for sure it's like at least 200 seeds of pumpkins that we're going to plant this year or more i'll count later I counted the seeds and we have a total of 427 seeds oh my god <laughs> well, and we're gonna plant all this so we'll plant all this and <laughs> we'll see and here's daddy he's trimming the grasses to clean the area there he is so quite far <laughs> so he's going to trim this area <laughs> and the thing is, um, we're gonna make some circles, circles, circles where we will plant the seeds. So, well, you will see later how it's done. There you go. So, 
so we're transferring here because we will plant first down area up 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 will be the big type of pumpkins so it will just go down like this and lower part will be this pumpkins that's good for eating so oh this is by the way our <laughs> uh, playhouse kids playhouse and this is the playground so there you go it's playground and here's our water spring source there and this is the playhouse and here's Natalia here <laughs> I will make her sleep now and here's where we're going to plant our pumpkins so And we haven't prepared the land yet. We will prepare this land for watermelons, melons, and many more. So, for now, we will do the pumpkins in this area. Alright, Natalia is already asleep. <laughs> it's time to help Daddy. So, I'm gonna park her here in the shade. Okay, so here we are. You might be wondering how we can plant in an area with there's so much grass. So the concept is we will just let them grow by the their own nature. So you see here, there are holes, holes everywhere, and we just let them grow in there. This will just put marker that we planted seeds in the area so we can water if it's really too hot. Pumpkins doesn't need really too much uh, maintenance, so they're perfect in here. Let's see, Daddy needs to make 200 plus holes because we have 427 pumpkin seeds. So we will put two to three in each hole. Two to three seeds in each hole depends on the variety so here is the entire area I will ask daddy how big is this area and here are our seeds okay let's start all right so when it comes to spacing for pumpkins it should be 150 by 200 centimeter but since this is quite a big space so we don't measure the space anymore. The, the this, their distance is quite really far from each other, so they can spread naturally. And first, I'm going to plant Hokkaido. So I'm not gonna show everything when we plant. I'm just show you how we sow and how we do it. So I will put two two seeds in each hole. So. Let me see if you can see it, but here, this is just regular soil land, but it's very soft. Okay, ah, we have some bees here, so many bees flying. It's daddy's honey bees. Hey there, little fella. Mm -hmm, they like the wild flowers. And surprisingly, they don't attack me. They don't bite me. But when it comes to Slavin and mother and father, <laughs> they bite them. <laughs> so I don't know why they don't bite me. <laughs> there. So there you see. I'm just going to put it like that way. And just cover it. Put the marker we will prepare the marker also just cover there you go not too deep so they will sprout We will also put fertilizer on top, natural fertilizer from our own compost and our animal manures. 
so they have good nutrition and we have our asnar our spring water source just very near to this area and it's perfect so we don't need to have hard time watering them just near to water them and you don't really need to water a lot for pumpkin only when it's very very sunny and only when transplanting time okay First, Raja, it was from first, from down, so you can write. I have so many pieces yeah. that you can... Yeah, if I start from down. One row, first row, you write here, first row, blah, blah, blah. from up to uh, like this. So. Because we have too much, and we never know where we plant what. So we will put here the list from beginning. This is road, and after road, Road? There, this road to the other road. What road? Road or road? See? And then first, but mommy planting there. I have to hide it here in this road. Because you know never what to do. Start from now. How do you start from here? We will water anyway later. We will see that there is this land where it's too deep that you don't dig too deep it's too deep you're digging so deep you know the seeds just hmm? there's so many earthworms that means this land is really good that's good it's really good There's a big roots in here, Daddy. You need to plant in between the roots. It's okay, there's so many seeds. At least one will grow in each. <laughs> Here's daddy making holes.
see. All of this have holes already. And only thing is upstairs left. <laughs> <laughs> see, there's so many earthworms. The land is so good. So many earthworms in here. Just need to transfer them. There you go. Yes. Natalia is still sleeping. She's a good girl. And the squirrel is in the tree. You see the tree up there? There's a squirrel there. He came down when I was about to film. So we have two squirrels living in this area in our within our homestead, within our home property. And Natalia is sleeping good. Here we are planting the seeds and there daddy on the other side <laughs> Ooh, it's a teamwork okay so let me just show you how to properly plant a pumpkin seed so you see here this is calabasa this is philippine pumpkin and it's like this shape so we're going to plant it up like this position you see this is the sharp one it should be planted up this is the one that will open and will produce the open the cotyledon inside and will produce the sprout so you can plant in any position but effective it's more effective if you plant it in the proper position so it's easy for them to move up the sprout so i find it effective when i plant my seeds so let me turn on the camera okay so here we are planting two seeds in each hole see here's one another one here and then we will cover with soil so you see it's a clump of soil so we need to break it soften the soil and cover the seeds so there you go Soft in the soil. It's actually a very soft soil. Move the roots and grasses that are present. There you go. And that's it. When they get a little bit bigger, they will grow. And then I'm we're planning to put fertilizer on top just to give them more nutrients. But they're planted naturally here in the forest. <laughs> so hopefully they all grow well. I just want to show you here. You see that we cut the trees. But it's starting to grow again. So this is a bagrim tree. And you see on the sides it's growing new shoots. So it will grow again. And all of the trees have have it, so you will see here. Everything have sprouts, so they're good. Cut them, but they will grow, regrow. Look at this. See, it's been cut, but it's starting to grow again. It's wonderful. Okay, Natalia is awake, and. She's very good. She sleep really long. We somehow managed to plant half of the seeds, so we continue later. And look what we have here. My hands dirty though. Ta -da! <laughs> A neighbor passed by, and then she saw us working. Babar Gordana, Valapuno, thank you. And she came back and gave us some collage or some desserts. See, it looks so yummy. <laughs> She's so nice. She gave us one. <laughs> Yay. Now we're going to have a coffee break. I don't drink coffee. It's daddy's coffee break. And we're going to go and come back again. So for now, it's a break time. There you go. We will go up now. <laughs> coffee break. Here's some of our sheep. 
see there's a place where we plant pumpkin and and daddy's bees are swarming it's very noisy they're very noisy buzzing buzzing they're playing around everything good starting to be hot <laughs> so you see here some of our fruits blueberries currant raspberries aronia berries there's some strawberries down there I don't know if you can see that clearly it's full of grass <laughs> it's just growing according to <laughs> natural way and we have hazelnuts and walnuts and these are trasnia or sweet cherries and planted new ones and there's a bee house that is bee house and this is our vegetable garden lot oh the bees are really wow <laughs> It's too far though. Don't know if you can clearly see the bees are swarming. Whoa! <laughs> That's our old greenhouse, small one. And how do you call that, Daddy? They're outside. They're like dancing. Whoa! Swarm is the wrong, wrong term. <laughs> and see, they're dancing. It's very noisy. I don't know if you can hear it clearly, but they're very, very noisy. Like zzz, buzzing, buzzing. No, I need to follow. <laughs> it's like this every day, walking down from there, going down. So this is our house area. And then here, we still need to prepare, plant our garden, <laughs> not yet. And here, this is also installed today by daddy, putting a tank, I mean a big uh, container of water. So we don't need to, because we did not activate yet the drip irrigation in the greenhouse because it's house with the seedlings for now yet. Still early to plant in the greenhouse. And here. Alright, we're back to business. <laughs> and here, daddy's already there. Now, this is called Priva, stinging nito. So, we need to be careful. <laughs> it's gonna have this like rushes and sting you. So, not to have close contact with this plant. And it's very yummy though when we make juice out of it. We also have a video on how to make a homemade stinging nettle juice fertilizer and they have many more um, uses we also cook them the shoots so here let's continue daddy clearing the cupriva in this area because oh yay we we're gonna plant here the atlantic giant it's very near to this uh, ship poop poop of the ship area this is for this is where we throw away the poop of the ship. Wow, it's so nice. It's perfect. I'm gonna put Atlantic Giant here. Yeah. Atlantic Giant is the... You planted already, Daddy? No, sir. Uh -huh. I'll plant the giant. What else I can plant? I don't know. Yeah, this decoration puts over there. Yeah, just put like... And this later make holes. This is... You are making holes, you will put in the record. Everywhere, too much. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna put the giant pumpkins in this area because this is very good soil. This is all covered with uh, sheep poop. It's very good for the, the the pumpkin. So I have here five. I s separated another five. It will be planted in the garden. 
So we'll see how they will perform here in the forest compared to the field. And I have also Genovska Tikva giant. This is another giant type of pumpkin that we're going to line here. So daddy made the holes. I'm going to plant them. Only one uh, seed per hole. So Oh, there's so many things in here. point downward so I mistake earlier it should be downward the seeds pointed to put me here so here uh, need to be careful because there's so many copper vine here and there's so many bees also The kuprivas are stinging. <laughs> Yay! We finished finally. <laughs> Wait. Wait. All right, guys. So we finally finished planting all the destroyed. the tools destroyed the second time, and we finished planting 427 seeds of pumpkins and squash, and for the 23 varieties. So. Yay! And hopefully, we are hoping that at least half of the seeds will grow. Hopefully. So, anyway, it's not guaranteed for sure that all the seeds will grow, but we're hoping at least some will grow. So, if you know, if you see that this is just natural forest, this is a forest area before and now. There are some uh, trees that were cut, but it's already growing shoots again. But then, this is, if you're familiar with permaculture, this is with a, uh, called forest gardening, where you can grow different um, vegetables, and it's mixed with the trees, with the grasses, in all their natural habitat, not in the setting where you plant, like, the vegetable garden field, where everything is well cultivated and all. So this process, we are experimenting this time, so hopefully this will work, and... We just let them uh, grow the natural, their natural way here in this area. And this is near our water spring source. Um, it's good, we can, if ever it's really too sunny, we can always water them here. And uh, there's a spring somewhere here also in this field that will also give them moisture. And the soil is actually good because it's near our ship uh, house where there's a ship manure. It's also good fertilizer. And say bravo for daddy for digging all and cleaning the area <laughs> and so we finished we started around eight o'clock and now it's what time is now two man. two i think two two p.m natalia is good girl she's just sleeping and sofia is also good girl i go and, die now. okay i go die <laughs> daddy will go and we will come back later when it's already um a bit almost dark where we can water the uh, the new plants so i mean the seeds so we will water them later we will water them thoroughly because it's like that for first time when you saw we need to water and make sure it will reach to the seeds so they will be activated i did not soak the seeds in water which i normally do for other vegetables but pumpkins they're good um, i don't really 
need to soak them in water first. They just grow directly on the ground. So we are doing the direct sowing right now. Direct sowing means we don't make them as seedlings. They will just grow by themselves outside. So, and, and so we're not worried about cross pollination because these are all heirloom varieties. Heirloom means old variety of vegetables. So it will remain true to themselves, true to same fruit. And there are no problem with cross pollination with the same um, uh, with this heirloom varieties, and they're not gonna be mixed up, mixed up, so it's perfect. And so we're really hoping at least few of you no, know, there's 427 seeds, so at least even just 200 will grow, so we can have each variety. This one, two, three, five, lucky ten in each variety so we can collect the se the seeds for the next growing season so we'll see and we're planning if this is successful maybe we can grow a lot of pumpkins next year we'll see maybe in another field in our bigger field their plain field we have also separate field and um, we already agreed if this is good year then if we'll see it works properly then maybe we can grow a lot of pumpkin next year so for now it's these pumpkins 23 varieties and so i think that's all for now and uh, we'll show you video when we water it all right oh see the many bees there that is bees drinking water and drinking water here in our asnar water source so i just wash my hands very cold water is so refreshing this is from our spring water source or asthma daddy resting here yeah. <laughs> daddy <laughs> Here are our ships. Ship, it's only ship. If it's plural, it's still ship. And they're just resting in the shade. So they're good. And we have to continue planting our pumpkins. Now it's watering time. So Daddy getting water from how do you call this daddy? This is like a pool for our cow to drink water. Then going up and I'll be done to water. And also we have here the asnar. Can also do this way, but it's gonna take a, a little bit longer if using this. So it's better to just dip in the pool of water. All right guys, so it's now watering time. And so for watering, now that we just transplanted the seeds, we need to make sure that the seeds will have enough water. So we're going to water them very deeply. So enough to for the seeds to reach the water. So they will be activated. So here, I'll show you one. <laughs> make sure have enough water there you go
So, all right, guys, we have finished watering our pumpkins and squash. So hopefully, all of them will grow successfully this year. And it's a long day, but we're so happy that we finished planting everything. So that's all for today. So please continue to support our channel by subscribing if you haven't yet. And please don't forget to put the uh, click the notification button, the bell button, so you will be notified when we have new videos. So please don't for forget to like, comment, subscribe, and support our channel. So that's all for now. See you on our next video.